Here in this video we will rank the top 10 most powerful dragons from House of the Dragon and Game of Thrones. Let's just say that size is a big factor to power in this case but there are also other things that determine how strong a dragon is. So let's get to it. At number 10 we have Sea Smoke. Sea Smoke was a silver grey dragon with pale skin. During the dance he was of fighting size but he was still a young dragon nimbler in the air than his older brothers. He was comparable in size to Tessarion, who was about three times smaller than Vermithor and not nearly as terrifying. Sea Smoke participated in many battles during the dance and even before it. He was a beater to melees but later on became a dragon that led armies to war. He even challenged and fought Vermithor to the death, causing the bigger dragon to also die due to grievous wounds being inflicted on him. Number 9. Rhaegal we initially had thoughts to put in Cyrax in the 9th spot but the She-Dragon didn't have any fights to her name nor was she in any significant battle in the Dance of the Dragons. So Rhaegal was chosen for the top 10. Rhaegal was one of Danny's dragons smaller than Drogon and of the same size as Viserion. Maybe he was a bit more powerful than Viserion but he was then later proved to be weaker than the undead white Viserion which had a Night King's magic in him. Rhaegal fought against Viserion and survived due to Drogon's assistance. Number 8. White Viserion While being large and powerful by the 7th season of Game of Thrones, Rhaegal and Viserion were pretty much the same in size and strength, at the same time being weaker than Drogon. But when Viserion was killed and revived by the Night King, his undead form possessed a more powerful demeanor. White Viserion could now go toe to toe with Drogon and even hand Drogon's ass in a fair or one on one fight, as he has unlimited stamina and ferocity. But then again, Drogon was bigger and more intelligent than the drone undead dragon. Number 7 Drogon Drogon is one of Dany's dragons. He is named after Daenerys Targaryen's late husband, Khal Drogo. He is thought to be Balerion the Black Dread's reincarnation. His flame is black with red flashes and the warmth of his heat can be felt from 30 feet away. His wing flap sounds like a thunderclap. He bleeds blood that is black in color. The only test of strength for him was surviving a scorpion bolt and managing to defeat the undead white Viserion in a battle over Winterfell, although the fight would have been more even if Rhaegal wasn't there. Number 6 Sunfire He was the most beautiful dragon ever seen in the known world, according to Archmaester Gildane. But he wasn't just beautiful, he was also deadly as hell. Sunfire survived the battle against Melees in the Rook Rest, but that was also in part due to Vega's assistance. Sunfire also killed an older Greg host, which was a wild dragon in Dragonstone. And lastly, as the earlier battles crippled him, even to a point where he wasn't able to fly properly, he was still deadly that even in his state of handicapness, he still managed to kill a younger and more nimble Moon Dancer. Number 5. Melees Melees was considered one of Westeros' fastest dragons, easily outpacing Caraxes and Vega. Melees, though had grown lazy by 129 AC, but she was still terrifyingly fast when aroused. Melees was a proud, reserved and wise dragon and very experienced in battle. In her final battle, she was ambushed and fought against two other dragons, Vega and Sunfire. Archmaster Gildane believed that Melees had a chance of surviving a battle against the older Vega alone, but not against Vega and Sunfire combined. Even though Melees initially had the upper hand and was able to close her jaw around Sunfire's neck, it wasn't until Vega fell upon them, causing her to die due to the fall. Number 4. Caraxes He was bright red, massive and slender. He was fearsome, formidable and experienced in battle. Caraxes was roughly half the size of the mass of Vega during the Dance of the Dragons. The Dragon Keepers dubbed him as the Blood Worm because he was the most fearsome of the Dragon Pit's young dragons. Caraxes' most deadliest battle was against Vega herself and even though physically outmatched, he did manage to kill Vega by ripping out her throat as they fell from the air into the God's Eye Lake. Caraxes even managed to come out of the lake alive but then died not long after due to his wounds as his abdomen has been ripped open and one of his wings were missing. Number 3. Vagar According to Tyrion Lannister, she was large enough to swallow a horse down her throat. 
Vagar's breath was said to be so hot that it could melt a knight's armor and cook him from inside. Vagar was a hardened survivor of a hundred battles by the time of the Dance of the Dragons and had grown almost as large as Beleriand and was the oldest and largest dragon in Westeros at that time with no other living dragon that could compete with her in terms of size or strength. Well, except for one maybe, or this one could be a tie for second place. Number 2. Vermithor As you can see from the last episode of House of the Dragon, when Daemon realizes that Vega would be a great problem, he made a move to awaken and let loose the bronze fury, Vermithor. This dragon was the third largest and not far away in size from Vega herself. And he is still also way younger, around 80 years younger than Vega, meaning that Vermithor is less sluggish and more agile in the air against the giant dragon. He was able to kill two dragons in the Battle of Tumbleton, as well as scores of knights sent to slay him while he was asleep. Imagine being ambushed and still managing to kill all the enemies, but then at the cost of his own life as well. And number 1. Balerion Also known as the Black Dread, he was the largest and most powerful dragon in the universe of A Song of Ice and Fire. And even though we have never gotten the chance to see him live in action, his deeds were enough. Even Vega plays second fiddle to him. Balerion had black scales and reddish tinted wings. His fire was said to be black with red swirls here and there. When he was at his most powerful, his flames could melt steel and stone and fuse sand into glass. His teeth were as long as swords and his jaws were large enough to swallow a hairy mammoth whole. And so that's it. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe but most of all smash the bell icon for regular updates of new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.